The Nigeria Civil Society Organization has commended citizens of Ocean State for witnessing a high rate of collection of the total number of 1.5 million permanent voters' cards across the state. This was a statement made by the convener, Ene Obi, while presenting election data analysis covered by the observers deployed across 30 local government areas of the Situation Room in Oshogbo, Ocean State Capital. For the very first time, before 7 a.m., most of the polling booths, polling units have been covered. There was adequate presence of the security personnel across the state and deployed across most of the polling units visited. The security personnel were friendly and professional in their approach. Voting cubicles in many of the polling units were not positioned to ensure the secrecy of the ballots, making it possible for voters you know, to flash their votes to other people to look at. Elsewhere in Oshobo, Yaga, Africa also had a midday situation or press statement on ongoing 2022 Ocean governorship election. Addressing journalists, board chairman, Yaga, Africa, Dr. Hosseini Abdu said a preliminary statement based on verified report from 242 to 250 sample polling units provided data on commencement of poll and availability of election materials. He identified critical incidents that occurred in some of the polling units as voter engagement, a secrecy of the ballot compromised, bivas malfunctioning, intimidation of voters, amongst others. The Aga Africa observed deployment of beavers across polling unit visited. At 23% of polling units, Yaga Africa noted two beaver devices present. Across most of the observed polling units, the beavers functioned adequately. Yaga Africa received reports of act of vote buying perpetrated by agents of APC and PDP in polling units. INEX should audit the newly created polling units and ensure equitable distribution of voters to the polling unit. Yaga Africa commends the good people of Ocean State for their peaceful conduct during the voting process. The Center for Democratic Development has commanded INEC over improvement in the electoral process judging from the last election in Ekiti State. The CDD Elections Analysis Center says it deployed 300 trained accredited observers who are collecting uh, data for key aspects of the day's voting and uh, voting-related processes to determine uh, through evidence-based analysis the credibility of the ongoing process. It, however, commended the Independent National Electoral Commission uh, for some improvements noticed after the just-concluded equity election. Data from the CDDAC observers indicates that 97% of INEC officials had arrived at their polling unit by 8.30 a.m. It further shows that 79% of INEC pool officials addressed voters before the 8.30 a.m. Official, official time of polling opening, of pool opening. CDDAC data indicates that in at least, at least 92% of polling units observed critical election materials like ballot papers, biometric voter accreditation system beavers, devices, resource sheets, ballot boxes, and the voter register were available for the conduct of the election, a marked improvement over the 83% recorded in Ikiti State. CDDAC notes that the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, took some steps to address some of the gaps identified in the state's governorship election last month. INEC has embedded officials of the National Union of Road Transport Workers, NURW, in the INEC situation room in Oshoko to help address issues around development of personnel and movement of voting materials to mislead voters or to possibly depress the vote in areas in which the political opposition is perceived to have, to have some strength. 
CDAC fact checkers have also documented claims and counter claims by political actors over allegations of vote buying. Using online tools and a range of verification techniques, CDDAC fact checkers have been working to independently fact check online and offline misinformation capable of undermining voter confidence. One of the major fake news stories, which began trending as voters headed to the polls this morning, is a claim that the, Peop the People's Democratic Party PDP candidate, Ademola Adeniki, had been sacked by a court. CDDAC fact checkers also spotted a claim that one of the major opposition parties, parties candidates, was asking voters to swear an oath that voters voted for him before he would pay them. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.